Good morning, mathematicians. So we're continuing with Euclidean geometry today, and we're going on to theorem two. So what does theorem two say? It says angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. But again, we need to be able to prove this. And again, we need to create scenarios where we can actually prove this using triangles, parallelograms, etc. So the main thing that I then would start off with is triangles are the most basic thing that we normally work with. So again, I'm going to construct triangles. So I'm going to construct A, O, and take it all the way through. And the same on this side, A, O, and take it all the way through. Oopsie, that one's a little bit long. Okay, so then we're going to call this A1, A2, O1, O2, the same this side, A1, A2, A, O1, O2. Okay, the main thing why I've got two different sketches is because if you look at the, the theorem, it can apply to three different cases, and these are the first two cases that, uh, that we can be given. So now we can start. Can you see that we've got two different triangles? Okay, we've got triangle A, B, O, and we've got triangle A, O, C. Okay, and immediately I can see that this line is extended and creates an exterior angle, and this line is also extended and creates an exterior angle. So immediately, exterior angle jumps to mind, but let's just start, construct, let's make this in, make that in, construct, A O N where N on circumference. Okay. So that's what I've done so far. Okay, now we can start. Immediately, like I said, we're going to use exterior angles. So angle O1 equals to a1 plus B because angle B because we know that exterior angles equals to the sum of the opposite interior angles so that is exterior angle of a triangle okay but now something else we need now we need to prove that A1 and B is actually the same thing and we can see immediately that O goes from the center to the circumference, which makes it a radius. And O2A is also from the center to the circumference, which makes it a radius. So therefore, if you go on, OB must be equal to OA because of radii. And then from there, we can say that B equals to A1. Why? angles opposite equal sides that's the same as saying isosceles triangle but we don't use the reason isosceles triangle in geometry and now immediately i can go and see therefore o1 equals to a1 plus a1 So therefore, O1 equals to 2 times angle A1. And if we go on and we do exactly the same thing on the other side, it will work exactly the same. If you look there and if it looks on this right-hand triangle, it will be exactly the same. So we can say similarly, O2 will be equal to 2A2. And now we can go and say so therefore O1 plus O2 equals to 2A2 I just quickly did that for you. 
take out a common factor of 2. We know that O1 plus O2 is the same as angle BOC, so I just changed that to angle BOC. And then I took out a common factor of the 2 that is common there, and then we've got A1 plus A2. And then now we can say BOC is equal to twice. A1 plus A2 we know is the same as BAC. And from there you can see that we've just proved the theorem. Well done everyone. I hope you enjoy the video.